hello hello I'm just getting set up I'm a little behind <laughs> say hi if you're watching Let me know you're here I'm just getting my number my paints in order here Makes it a little easier Twelve or twenty-one. Hmm. Well, happy Wednesday and happy September. I'm just getting my stuff organized. I'm a little, running a little behind, but I figured I'd I could do this while we visit. Um, as soon as I do this, I'm going to draw the winners of last week's originals. So that'll be fun. I figured I'd do this because sometimes it takes a little while for my phone to sync with everything and get up to speed. Let's see. 14, <laughs> You're right on time. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I figured I... I would just get this stuff done while... I always underestimate how much time I need for things, you know? I'm one of those people, though, too. If I'm not early, I feel late. Let's see, 25, 26, 27, 28. There, voila. Well, here are the paints we are using today. I'm going to set these aside for a minute. Um, I need to cut some paper. So say hi if you're watching. If you don't know what the heck you're watching, let me know. <laughs> I can explain it to you. If you're tuned in for the weekly live, you know that we're going to create a few paintings this week. Oh, come on, you. So in case you're wondering, this is what I use for my um, intuitive painting sessions. I usually paint on um, a canvas when I feel like just painting st something, you know? Um, when I do my intuitive painting sessions, I use this because it's quicker. What am I watching? <laughs> nice. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, you're watching this, um, I don't really know. <laughs> so I'm going to do some intuitive painting, which basically means I'm going to put a, a blob of paint down and paint what I see in it. So here are the ones created last week. And I'm going to draw winners. I've got the names of people who have become members through Kofi here. And I'm going to draw the winners of these. But first, I need to cut up a couple pieces. So... Let's see, four by six, I think I want to do. Hey, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're all here. How's your first day of September going? Oh yeah, I paint all different kinds of shapes. Did you see that one? I don't have it nearby, but um, it was really long. It was very cool. It was like a lady with um, a marionette on strings. I have to cover this because I can't see. I can't read with the, with the white background. Oh, I'm, so, I'm excited you're here too. I can see you. 
was looking to see if you have a I'm following you now I was looking to see if you had your name in there just my place and time I love that I just didn't want to have to say that <laughs> so I'm gonna call you I don't know <laughs> just I guess I suppose I can say the whole name I haven't seen that yeah hey mini driver welcome all right so we're gonna do three four by sixes um, but first, let's see who won last week. So, if you're new to me, my name is Linda. Um, I'm an intuitive artist. That's my website up there, <laughs> lindafavory.com. Um, during the live, intuitive painting sessions are 33% off. There's a coupon code. Um, you can join my Ko-Fi membership for a dollar a month, and you get entered to win every single time so every single time I print out the names and you have an equal chance every single drawing every week to win one of these originals so here's the first one let's do this one first so like if you went and entered right now you'd be entered for whatever we create today so here are the mermaids and we talked about kind of the ship going down and trying to shore it up, but there's help on the way to help navigate out of those tumultuous waters, right? So I've got my, I've got all the names in one of my mugs. You can get these on my website. This is, you can get a bunch of different artwork. If you ever want help, like trying to get an image to look right on a cup or a t-shirt or anything, because you got to kind of adjust it yourself, just let me know if you need like different aspect ratios or something. I'm happy to do that. All right. First winner of the mermaids is Anita. Congratulations, Anita. All right. And then let's do this one. So this one had like the old man in the sea kind of thing reflecting and the lone wolf and the dancing um, horse. If you want to read a write-up on these two, I put one on Ko-Fi. Uh, um, there's a link in my, in my bio to it, so you can read some of the insights. Um, totally Willie Nelson, I agree. <laughs> Willie N Nelson in a fez. <laughs> yeah, Becky, let me know, because I know you were, you, your, your personal image you wanted to get. I can adjust it. All right, what do we got? Who gets this one? Stephanie. Congratulations, Stephanie. All right, so those are our winners from last week. Thank you, everyone, so much. Um, it's I know it's just a dollar, but it makes a huge difference. If if even a per 1% of the people who consume my content were to subscribe for a dollar a month, I would be able to do so many. Art I do an art support group every week. It's pay what you can. I'd be able to do those for free um, for many more people. So thank you so much. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get to painting. So this is how this works. I'm going to, I'm feeling fall too, just wanted to kind of interject into that conversation. <laughs> Even though it's like 80 degrees here in Wisconsin, I'm like, it's, yeah. Hey Beth, welcome. All right, I'm gonna put the these paints in front of the camera in a second. And I'm gonna invite you to kind of take a deep breath, think about the things that you, that are on your mind that you want insights about, and I, I, I like to say, like, close your eyes for a second, take a deep breath, and when you open your eyes and look at the colors or the numbers, whatever jumps out to you first, and it can, just because we're in a group, like normally if it's an individual, um, you can pick as many as you want, but it, since we're in a group, one per person. Um, so go ahead and just tell me which colors are speaking to you today. It could be the color or the number. Alicia, you're in Wisconsin too? I am in Fond du Lac. 10, 16, let me see if I can keep up. 27, 19, oh crap. Okay, I gotta put this down now so I can read. <laughs> Did 
to go right to, okay, so 16, 16, 27, 19. Make sure I got everyone. And if you didn't get in, if I don't get you this time, um, then I will get you, we'll do this three times, so. Alright, 16, 19, those, those two feel interesting together, 16, 19, 27, 10, 31. One again, fourteen. Hey, Lupa, how's it going? Twenty. Let's get low. Seven, Olivia, hello. Four. Six. Yoko, thank you. All right, I think I think that's what we got. So I hope I got everyone. And again, if you didn't get to pick one, I took it away before you got to pick one. Um, I'm gonna do this three times. So this is the first of three. <laughs> this is like like Easter candy. I agree. Yum. Although I just, there are some Easter candies I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like, um, like I like marshmallows, right? But I don't like marshmallows covered in stuff. So I'm not a huge fan of like Peeps or um, um, like what are those things with like the weird hard shell sugar on the outside or cut chocolate covered marshmallows? Like, mmm, yeah, there's something about that. <laughs> Which is weird, because I love s'mores, so I like chocolate and marshmallow together, but, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, hello, Nat Brad Pitt. How are you today? I'm glad that you could pop in. Thanks for taking the time. I know you, you got go things going on. Oh, Cadbury eggs are pretty good. <laughs> adult palette knows better yeah you know what my favorite are though because because I, are robin eggs robin eggs are robin's eggs are my favorite candy um they're just basically malted milk balls with a hard candy shell <laughs> all right let's see start this one fell off the table so we're gonna start with this one Mm, yeah, big, it, the Reese's with shape, in the shapes of things, taste better than the regular Reese's. Why is that? This blue had a lot to say. peanut butter you think I'm doing all right yeah I feel like my time has been getting away from me lately though like I feel a little bit rushed and so I had to really slow myself down I was feeling rushed for, for really no reason you know ones are superior it uh, is that what it is it's got the right ratio <laughs> you know what's good though it's just taking like a chocolate easter bunny and scooping peanut butter up with it with the ears chunky peanut butter peanut butter jelly time Oop, that got over there You ever done that with like an Easter bunny, like a chocolate bunny? My favorite holiday is the day after Easter when all that candy goes on sale. <laughs> of course, I'm not I'm defeating my sugar addiction, so I haven't had sugar in quite some time, but I can dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hi. What's this one? Number six. Whoa. All right, then. That's what you want to do? You can do that. Oh, you got a kitten. <laughs> and then when you think you settled on one name and then you're like, oh, but this could be the name too. Oh, what's the top, top one or two? Yeah, the fancy chocolates are pretty good. I, I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of like cheap chocolate. Um, so I do like, all right, where's my plastic? Talk, you all distracted me with candy talk. <laughs> Yeah, so the way that sh the six shot out, so it's funny because I was going to say something about six being related to home, and it was, it was like stuck, and then bleh. <laughs> so you might have some creative energy relating to, um, so when I say you, I mean all of us may have, like the collective, may have some um, like s built up energy relating to home life that will just kind of come out. <laughs> Clementine. Oh, I love that name. Charlotte or Junebug. Oh my god, those are all cute. I've been wanting a kitten so much. I mm, that's a wonderful gift. Good sister. <laughs> this one's kind of close to the edges. See, that's awesome that's what I hear sometimes they say like you get a younger animal for your older animals and it really brings out the the youthfulness and the energy well it works for me too like when I, I'm around little kids I'm down on the ground and suddenly my knees don't hurt and I want to I can create all kinds of things Legos and I have all this energy to play that's why I think they, there are some, but I think they should combine preschools and nursing facilities. Yeah, this one's going to the edges, it's messy. Lots of built-up stuff. Been letting the outside get internal, I think. <laughs> Anybody letting the external experience affect your internal experience, or just me? No, just me. This one, it's interesting because it, it reminds me of the first one we did last week also because it's kind of divided. It's polarized a little bit, but not quite as much. We have more of a diagonal. We have more of a, but there's still, you know. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to. So I'm right off the bat seeing a really clear image, but feel free to share what you're seeing.
Blue fairies dancing in a meadow. Beautiful. Hey, Susie. Rubber ducky. I'm really looking at this figure right down here is really catching me, too. If you hear me cussing, it's because I have, like, fruit flies, and I don't know why, and I, like, I'm fighting with them. Person holding a cloak, that's a little nice. That's what I see as, like, a, a, like a, a yellow, I was thinking, like, raincoat, but, like, a, um, like, a scarf, a purple scarf over their head, and then they're, they have their arms up. I don't know if it's like they're I don't know we'll see that's all I know so far <laughs> that's all I know blue dragonflies yeah there it does have that feeling of things kind of swarming around doesn't it fucking firefly or um sorry <laughs> gnats that just came up hmm our shadow. Joanne, you made it. Hi. Oh, yeah, it does kind of feel like releasing. I like that word. That word feels right to me. Sleeping purple dinosaur. Nice. Right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. I don't know what I just did. Okay. So. And it's interesting because someone said little girl, and it reminds me, um, we did a, a canvas painting a little while ago, and there was a little girl reaching out similar to this to, um, to a uh, hummingbird. Are you doing some painting, Lexi? Nice. Good to hear that yellow dress. Oh, yeah. It does have a kind of, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the, like, rider tarot kind of flat two-dimensional thing. You just lost the game. What game? Oh, 
you got your paint. Oh, that painting. I thought you meant you were doing some painting. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad it got to you. Yay. Yeah, that was a cool one with the piano player and saxophone. Six of cups, huh? I'll have to work at that later. What's with me and sleeves lately? What were those pork chop sleeves? A mullet? No. What the heck were the? Why can't I think of it? Those other sleeves I made. Mutton. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't think of their darn things again. Ugh. Why can't I? I have a block to the to what they're called. I guess. Yeah, just fancy puppy sleeves. Yep. <laughs> I don't usually spend this long in one place. So it's kind of interesting that that's happening. I keep I'm drawn to that. I feel like they're they're kneeling. That's why, right. okay. I was wondering why this kind of rode up there a little bit. Oh yeah, reaching for a sharper. I see a figure with arms outstretched right here. Green, someone picked a 31. That's what that is. Okay. Hey, thanks for the likes. I appreciate that. Tornado. Oh, man. 
Is that normal? Like, is, do you usually get tornadoes at this time of year there? Or ever? I mean... <laughs> I had a feeling you'd respond with something like that. I don't know. You know. Oh, I read, the first thing I read was Lexi's comment, seeing one in real life is really amazing and quite shocking how small they actually are. And I thought you were talking about fairies or pixies or something. But you meant the painting, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. I really like painting these little tiny things that I almost, I can barely see. Um, and it's really challenging because sometimes I put the paintbrush down in a place that I'm like, oh, it wasn't quite right, you know? So I kind of, I think I like the challenge of it. I think that's why I've been painting small recently. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been painting pretty much my whole life. I mean, I've worked, I, I my professional career as an artist began in, in 2001. Um, and then I went back to school. So I stopped selling my artwork for a while. And then I did the kind of the, the behavioral health art therapy route. You know, I thought that this was the front and this is actually their back. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah. My camera is on like a boom mic stand thingy. So it's like an arm that swings out over so I can move it.
Let's see what's happening with this. So I like to build up um, using kind of like a, right now I'm using this blue mixed with a little bit of the black. Just, if I'm not real sure where the stuff, like where the edges are, I'll just kind of build it up with, maybe there's a good place for a arm. And then I can get darker as I commit to some more. So this arm maybe goes out like that. Kind of has a Peter Pan vibe. <laughs> like, come with me. question thingy. I, I like when you use these things. Cool. Yeah, so if anybody has questions, this make, helps to, you know, if I'm overlooking your questions or anything. Um, I use Apple Barrel <laughs> craft paint. Just these little, cheap little bottles of craft paint. It does feel like a play, yeah. Do they feel like they're underwater? I feel like this one's reaching out and yeah, like, come on out. Really? Someone told you not to? Why would you not use water with acrylic? That's weird. I mean, it's water-based, right? <laughs> this is why being self-taught is so beneficial. Nobody told me not to do things. I didn't know any better, so I did it wrong. Is that the number four? Uh oh. I dropped my. Oh. I'm so, I feel just honored that you're all here with me. Thank you. Hey, softly. How are you? Is the person in yellow waving goodbye? Could be. Yeah. I don't. So I. I suspend judgment. That's what I was taught it is in our therapy zone is to create and suspend judgment while I'm painting. So then at the end, I go and analyze it. So I'm not influencing the, um, the outcome. I just want it to come from my intuition and I go piece by piece. Because... Um, there's a great book called The Point Zero Process, and in that book, 
Michelle Casau. Casau. Um, she she talks about the dragon of meaning and how that can kind of block our creativity when we feel like we need to like it has to have some sort of meaning or story behind it um, but yeah it does feel like a ballet so you know I, I'll I can speculate and stuff but I'll read it at the end on time. This is the first one, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a kind of a Peter Pan feel, doesn't it? That's an interesting connection, Afghanistan. Huh. Well, it's definitely in the collective, so. Could be, too. Yeah, I love that they connected. And I'm really interested in what this is. It's like a, a river, and I kind of want to come up here. But all right, I'm going to come out. Hey, Teal. Good to have you here. I feel like there's a seahorse over here or something. And then there is like this underwater feeling. It's very interesting. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I hope it's relaxing you for a good night's sleep. Um, I redirect. So how do I get my brain to suspend judgment while painting? I redirect it just like you would like a, a little kid. Um, I just, I, I treat my ego or my analytical mind as like my it's sort of like my inner child and i i satiate it by saying like hey you'll have t you'll you'll have your turn so you know let's get go get preoccupied with let's listen to the sound of something or you know so i'll, I'll redirect its attention and be like oh we'll think about that later yeah well that's a really good idea you know <laughs> like that's basically the inner talk in my head it's kind of like a little kid who's like hey you know it'd be really fun let's have cookies and then but rather than saying no you can't have cookies you can never have cookies and then the t kid has a t temper tantrum because that's what our ego does if you say no you can't um think about that right now <laughs> the ego's like i'm gonna think about that right now more and more and more so instead i'll say like yeah that's a great idea yeah, that totally could be that. Let's, you know, let's put that aside and we'll come back to that when it's time to to have cookies. <laughs> oh. That's what I was just looking at is this wavy thing. And I almost feel like there's a ship, like there's sails or something. Yeah. I can show you the world. <laughs> hmm. To come back in here. I'm, I guess I'm just not done with them yet because I'm not getting it clear. So, all right, I have to add in. I have to bring them out a little bit more.
Okay, I'll see you later, Teal. Thanks, Steel Butterfly. I appreciate that. Popping her onto the dock. Yeah, there is something about that. Yeah. Yeah, I sing everything. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't I, I don't do that in during the lives. That's really weird because I I um my life is kinda like a little musical number, everything. <laughs> my ex one time I he saved it on his phone because he loved it so much I called him up because we were gonna have um like bratwurst or something for dinner and I sang this song to him about eating bratwurst sausages and that's funny when I was in high school we used to drive around and get high and sing songs about everything we we're seeing in the car it was awesome my favorite thing life is musical if we let it be so let's see Yeah, I just had to add a little white underneath to kind of separate him from the background. I might make his hair orange. decided how his You see a flying witch? Nice. Yeah, definitely like a fairy tale feel, right? Oh, 
Well, I'm glad you're here to share it with. Thank you. I feel like there should be some detail to the clothing here. I hadn't thought that, but yeah, maybe we can do that. That makes sense. Ooh, big feather, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. I like painting feathers. <laughs> Honestly, they never quite look the way I want them to, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Is that a turtle right here? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, he's fancy for sure. Right, but I want to knock back some of that.
Hey, Danny. The mop and... No, no, no. Here. You're not late. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a bloop. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Yeah, it's a fun grouping of colors. Start out with a it's an intense month, I guess. <laughs> Because I, as I zoom out, I'm like, I don't see anything else to paint. And I just keep being brought back there. But all, all of a sudden. just caught in my throat so this has something to do with the throat <clears throat> something relating to intuition and the throat but I need to grab what color was this over here do anybody remember the number I think it was 19 thinking about making the like adding these to the card deck like maybe I'll do because I add to the sacred journey deck um so I make oracle cards I don't know if you knew that but um so I use when I do these paintings for people oh yeah by the way 33 percent off if anybody wants a reading um links in the bio so when I do these for people I make well I have a whole stack of images that I need to turn into oracle cards but I was thinking about doing like a special edition just with the the weekly live ones. I thought maybe that'd be kind of fun. A lot of water. So when I add water to the paint, I um, I interpret that sometimes as like expressing emotion or the need to express the emotion. You know, it helps things become more fluid when we express some of that stuff. does feel like yeah so maybe there's a need to <laughs> I feel like there's a whole 
whole vessel or a whole chalice full of like things that have been unsaid. It's like the sacred chalice of I'll never say these things to anybody ever. Does part of the cup missing mean something? Well, I it to me, I'm looking at it more like there's this green stuff coming around. Not so much that anything's missing, but that it's obscured by um, like this misty something. window open or something. Yeah, there's almost like um like two eyes here. <laughs> I was thinking like a dragon or something. <laughs> This whole painting just has this, like it, it's very slow in, in, um, and being, its development is, is slow and built, like gradually built up over time, right? Oh, you know what? There is a chip in this mug right here. Let's do a whole crack down the side. Uh oh. Now what? Now what? Now what's gonna keep us from spilling the beans, huh? Are we gonna keep from expressing that stuff that's been? to definitely be spilled now. <laughs> it does look like, it totally looks like a cat's paw dipping in. Mm, I like that. All right, what number was that? I think this was a seven, is that? I got this green. And then 16.
Oh, the green was 31. Yeah, this green was 31. This, this um, almost yellowish green, this one, which, oh, I was, is it's like um, citrine, it reminds me of. Just a reminder if anybody wants a chance to win this um, and, or or you just want to support my work because you love me <laughs> you can become a member for a dollar so if you consume my stuff regularly and it's worth a dollar a month from to help me continue to do it um, I definitely would love for you to join my my Ko-Fi membership it's there's a link in my bio sudden I'm like no no that's the under underneath the turtle and then I'm like oh okay it's a it's a cosmic turtle it's out in space
Now I feel like it's like pointing to this door. Like it's just over here, just come here. Hey, thanks for the perfume. <laughs> see if there's anything yeah come see the magic like I almost feel too and we'll see but I feel like it's like you belong over here with the turtle on this side because you're glowing like that yeah I love that this yellow and gold, it's like connected to our creativity and solar plexus. And look, it's like it recognizes the self over there. Mm, I think I get some insights here, but I wanna Oh, just a uh, get the waterfalls going. Mm -hmm. I, it does feel a little bit like a rescue. I think it feels related to the mermaids that we had last week. In a way, yeah. What is this? This is a... Didn't you know? Didn't you know that you have a whole kingdom? belongs to you. Here, I'll show you. See how it, it's interesting to me that um, early when it first started, it was very deliberate and very careful and it took forever to, it was just like really slow going and all this detail. And now all of a sudden 
it's like boom boom <laughs> like everything is yeah wow Well, thanks for all the likes. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm almost done with this, and then we're going to read it. Um, it does feel kind of like this kind of rescuing, maybe. Kind of a guidance or... Yeah. Intense, man. <laughs> I know, what is that? That's when something crazy happens, right? So the elephant spirit up here to help us bust through some obstacles, yeah? And it's interesting that it's like a lot of shadow work to bring it out. So we've got to address some of the stuff that we're not saying and that we're not admitting to and the fears and whatever, you know, like all that crap. Um, some, some of the same stuff that came up with the other one too. Um. <laughs> talking to myself I I do the same thing so. you're not talking to yourself you're talking to the collective <laughs> just yeah so interesting how detailed and everything was and then all of a sudden it's just like blah. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. All right, I think it might be done. <laughs> and then of course, as soon as I do that, I'm like, hold on, nope. Okay, now it's done. <laughs> Do I have a favorite animal? Hmm. I don't know. Not that I can think of. I, do, I really do love um, foxes. Like, I, they tend to come up a lot. Um, when I was little, I, I was obsessed with monkeys. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's because I loved Curious George. That was like my favorite thing. And I also, I was, I always had bunnies. Two, not real bunnies, but like, I think that though I was born in March, so that's probably why. All right. Whew. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> this one was pretty intense. Yeah? dog just grumbled. I don't know if you could hear. Wow. <laughs> hey, baby. She's just getting comfortable with my feet. Let's see. Hi, Luli. You doing good? <laughs> okay. Hey. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they hear you, Lulu. You're loved. She found a new spot. She just glares at me. She's like, whatever. You're disturbing me while we're talking. <laughs> the blue shape on the left, like a cheeky fox, huh? <laughs> nice. All right. So let's, overall, I'm just gonna, my impression on the whole thing is like the story of, yeah, like a lot of you had said, um, an, an invitation to explore, to come, come outside really, because this is the external side and this is the internal. So internally, there's a lot going on here. A lot of water, a lot of waterfall. It's an interesting little crucifix that popped up over here that was unintentional. Um, so there's maybe some, like the cross that we bear, the, um, you know, the, the punishment we impose on ourselves, those kinds of things. 
Um, there's a definitely this crown here that feels it's indigo. It feels connected to our like intuition and our and our insights. And there's all this water flowing in. So there's a ton. So it's like all this work and all this, but also there is almost like this hand up and pray. So like when I hear good gospel music and the hand goes up like that, that's kind of what that reminds me of. Um, so there is kind of like this recognition of the divine or something or the energy that is being pointed to. Um, and I feel like that too, like here's a recognition of sameness. Um, this feather feels a little bit like a dolphin too, for some reason, but, um, this turtle, it's like, it's like, I feel like the interaction is between the two of them like hey hey I know you like hi I know you I recognize you as part of me um is there a black kitty in here like over here there might be yeah um and then so I think when I see elephants I tend to think of family but I also think of ganache and like a remover of obstacles so moving through things like that yeah, the turtle can mean slow down for sure. Um, it also can be like that enduring long, they live such long lives, they see so much too. So it could be like that. I was thinking of it as the higher self and like the the um, eternal nature. Um, but also they carry their own, you know, they they have everything they need. So I, when turtles come up, I tend to think of how they carry everything they need with them you know, and that they can retur retreat within, but they can also, you know, they have the option to go within and, and experience both internal and external in a, in a balanced way. And I think that's kind of at the core of what's happening here is this expressing and kind of moving. It's okay, enough time internally. It's time to express and go with your intuition. So this character is cloaked in this beautiful royal blue, this indigo color um, that feels connected to the chalice and the crown, right? And it feels connected to the third eye or intuition. So it's like, come dance with me, come explore this whole new world, right? Like come explore and we're gonna come over here. We're gonna look at this this chalice. It's like busting open with, with love. Like this is the color of like the heart energy center, right? But it's also mingled with that and it's coming from right off the page from the non-physical realm and like going into these places i feel like this door represents um security and stability it's very square it feels very grounded um and then there's like this little fiery kind of feeling of that yellow like solar plexus there's this i love that this color this orangey golden color feels like um our connection to our creativity but also um our so our creativity and our our personal like preferences and desires and i feel like that's really connected to our intuition i think it's really important to express what we want and what we like and what we prefer and not settle for things and not let and not be the doormat like get up off the ground <laughs> and declare you know you have declared domain over certain areas of your life that are your domain that are your that you are the authority you are the authority over many aspects almost all of the aspects of your life um so it feels very much about that um and just then so if you need a helping hand at that call on your imagination your insight your intuition your playfulness and to kind of guide you over the this it feels like this landscape here is like this um it reminds me again like i'm going back to the whole aladdin thing with the the song and everything but it feels like the underground where there's all this treasure and it starts to like the chaos starts to rumble and it's like come on let's go like jump on the magic carpet get the hell out of there very similar to last week's um underwater ship you know and here's a hand outstretched very 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 similar message here same golden light coming through um same kind of pillar you know there's still because when i was painting in here i was looking at oh there's these little nooks and crannies where we can still hide away um we can kind of go in our little cave 
and then I have to look to see what you do. I don't know. Um, so you can still kind of hide away if you want to, but there's the point is really like it's better to like get out of there, and that's what this one is too. So um, moving into the external, expressing yourself. Huh. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> all right, so I hope that provided some insight for you all. I'll give you another quick tour of it. Oh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> I really love that broken, that crack in there. there was water all right so we're gonna put this up here again if anybody wants to win this <laughs> I'm gonna be giving it away let me put this thing up here now so that, um, so you you can win that original I'll put that up here start another one. Oh yeah the snake I didn't say anything about the snakes did I That, you know, yeah, so the black kitty, too. I don't, I wasn't sure. It wasn't an intentional thing. I kind of see it in here. Um, wasn't intentional, but it, the energy came through. Up here with the snakes, I feel like it kind of goes along with this idea of, like, shedding skins and being renewed. But also the, it, um, the elephant is kind of protecting from, because a lot of people see snakes as something to fear. Um, and... So there's, there's, it's kind of a reminder that there's protection while you transform. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a little cat sitting on the top of the door, like with the tail hanging down. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I had, I was driving yesterday and black cat running across. And I personally find that to be an, a positive um, I love black cats, and I was like, oh, yes, we're lucky. And it was. It was a wonderful day, actually. All right. So. That up there. I really love that. All right. Let's see if I can get through to that. took a long time, but it was well worth it. Very cool picture. Okay. Next. I'm going to. So now is a good time if anybody hasn't signed up and become a member, if you want to join the membership so that you can be entered into the drawing to win that original painting next week, go do that while I get set up. There's a link in my bio, or if anybody wants a, um, oh, Luna Lulu, <laughs> that's cool. If anybody wants to book a session so you can have a painting created just for you, they're 33% off. If there should be a few of them left. I, there's only a couple, just because yeah, I just count too many, but yeah. More oracle cards. You can get those for 33% off, too, I think. Thank you for the likes and roses. That's so nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, I guess the like thing is new, so if you hit likes a lot, then it helps me reach more people. And I know I always say that I like it when there's not that many people so we can talk, but I do. It's better for me, you know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. New piece. I'm going to put the colors back together. going to arrange my color stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're the best. All right, you ready to pick some colors? Move this out of the way. I'm going to put the, um, so I have, if you're new to this, I'm going to put 
a bunch of um, paints in front of the screen in a second. And so I'm going to invite you to just kind of take a deep breath and pick whatever calls out to you, whether that's the number or the color, but just one per person. And I'll use that to create the next background. Get them all in there. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. My camera drunk. <laughs> Keeping up with you. <laughs> 17, got that. 29, got it. <laughs> Are you all <laughs> like picking the same numbers? <laughs> hmm. 11, thank you. And 8. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm going to put that down, and if I didn't get you, I'll do another one in a little bit too get to three tonight we'll see look at that that's a cool color combination nice I like the pinks and purples Cool, thank you. <laughs> All right, what was the order? Let's see. I don't know, I think I lost the order. I think 12 was first though. 12, then 29. That's a lot of pink. <laughs> Wasn't that what I was expecting? 17. Whoops. They're out of control tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, three and then eleven. I feel like I'm decorating a really messy cake. <laughs> Many brats, right? <laughs> Yuck. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna maintain it like this. Whoops. Oh yeah, I usually do paint the table and then I things on the table, which is fun. I was just today looking at little birds and stuff on there. Okay, look at that infinity symbol. That's pretty cool.
I just saw your question, Beth. Is he good or is he tricking her? That's an interesting question with this one. Yeah, what do you think? What's it feel like to you? Is he good or is he tricking her? Hmm. So not Brad, you think it, he feels good to you? Yeah, good vibrations. Seems good to you too. It feels to me like he's part of, like, so everything, I, I interpret him the same way I interpret, um, like, dream interpretation. So everything in it is an aspect of self. So, and I also, see, I tend to see people that way too. All people are an expression of one, oneness, one person, myself. And so, it's an interesting an interesting question. Am I good? Do I consider myself good? Are all people good? Are the bad people good people? Hmm. That is a question for another time. <laughs> and it's interesting, actually, because if you read what I channeled for the other for last week um, the shadow that we needed to work on the, the message was to um, exp do some shadow work around otherness and the polarity that we're experiencing relating to that and whether or not those that we deem other or, or bad or, you know, not connected to us and how that is affecting us. So, how that's inhibiting our spiritual growth, really. And the gold looks like his beautiful shining through. Oh, that's a really nice way to say that. I love that. Hey, so I use these. Just craft paint, just acrylic, acrylic craft paint. Quick drying, easy cleanup. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get a little more off of this one. A lot of excess with this one. mushroom up there. Hmm. Oh, it actually looks like a fox. Oh, I don't know. What do you all see? of people over here. It's interesting because before I squished it, I saw like two people here. First of flowers, yeah. I'll go closer too so you can see some of the details. Looks like a little cow or sheep or something down there. This felt like a flower to me. Looks like a, a person with long purple hair reclining. White horse, a sheep, like unicorn. It has definite unicorn vibe. I, I see like a dog's nose with tongue sticking out right here too. Oh, unicorn. Is this a unicorn? Mm -hmm. Red heart. A little snail head right there. And the black is his eyes. Whose eyes? Let me see. Kenneth says hello. 
Holy roses. <laughs> right? <laughs> I do like the unicorn. The fresh, flesh colored bulbous thing. This looks like a bunny to me, kinda. Is that what you mean? <laughs> so, in my. <laughs> My head, my head said, this is a bunny. So here's the head and the ears coming back on the thing. But it's also, it's like screaming. Because so there's like, <laughs> that's weird, but yeah. <laughs> Why, what did you think it was? <laughs> Pink elephant. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... I'm gonna start with unicorn, and it's interesting because it's in the same place that. Let me see if I can get. I need a reference because otherwise my horse. I need to look at horses because otherwise they. I end up painting them and they look weird. All right, let's try this horse. They look weird anyway, but. I can see. Where's my paintbrush? Do, do, do. Digging for a paintbrush. Do, do, do. I have too many paintbrushes that suck. And not enough that are good. Okay. This one looks alright. Alright. Feel Art Nouveau. Mm -hmm. Sloth top left, nice. I also see like a little panda or something like the dark some eyes or yeah. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna have a whole zoo here. So let me see. Him what we do. I'm going to start right here because that's just the, mo the the clearest one to me. Do you prefer if it's zoomed in or do you like to see the whole painting? What would you, what would you prefer? Ariel. <laughs> Zoom to start. I'm like in mermaid. I read that as like the mermaid. Pan out as it grows, huh? See from above. Yeah, that's two to one. Any any more boats? <laughs> right, let's do half. I'll do it like that, and then. Because I was thinking it might be good, too, if anybody wants, like, to see the technical end of things, like how I mix colors or whatever. I don't know. I don't usually show that part, so. Um. Um. Shoot. So I think it's like yeah, the nostrils are already there. Isn't that wild? I love when that happens.
me a unicorn horn. So I probably mentioned this once before, but I, um, many years ago, I was invited to illustrate a book. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, so I never... So I started to do it, and I created a bunch of artwork. I didn't have a contract, or like, and then I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I, I quit. <laughs> and, um, but it was fun, and it was about a unicorn. It was called The Unicorn Without a Horn. I want candy again. Like this. What's the deal with the candy things? Since you saw it, Susan, I'm going to use your number three. Add some special pink details. I feel like it should be partly pink craveable things. Do you remember that book by Stephen King, Needful Things? Did anybody read that? I loved that book. Oh my god. It's so old. I think they tried to make a TV show too. Glorious mane. Yeah. Oh, the Bachman books were good. Is it the tower one? Is that what that is? I can't. God, it's been so long, I can't really remember. Oh yeah, it is unicorn time. For sure. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Let's put it 
here. It's like this is its head. And I have a little ear sticking up right here, right? And another one. It's <laughs> you know what's great is when I'm doing a live and I'm 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 talking to myself. Like I would normally talk to myself. <laughs> and say things like this like okay the your ear goes here da, 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 da. um it's i feel much more like yeah like it's okay because you're there listening <laughs> I'm just some, I've always been someone who needs to verbalize things to myself. It's funny because I'm an introvert, so I don't process things by, like, I, I'm not an extrovert. I don't need to talk about things with other people, but I do need to say things out loud. I need to read things out loud to comprehend them. Um, I need to print things out to read them if I'm really going to, it needs to be in print. Like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, totally candy vibes. I love that. Oh, I'm glad. We, yeah, see, I think that we kind of just attract our people. That's just how it works, right? Charlie the Unicorn? No. Oh, Candy Mountain. See, that's... Didn't we do a painting and everyone was talking about Candy Mountain? I don't... I don't know that. <laughs> I have to look that up. Oh, thank you. so happy to hear that I really that me means the world to me really you know it's yeah it's funny because I think Often artists, uh, you know, I don't know, I can't speak for other artists, but we tend to go like, well, what is my, you know, what do I do? I'm just making these, these things or, you know, whatever, you know, how am I, how am I helping the world? How, what am I contributing? And because we receive messages our whole lives that the arts aren't valued. It's just it's sad, but it's just the way it's been. Um, and so... It's part of our identity too, right? So it's like to hear, it means so much to hear that um, I'm able to help in some way or, you know, that you find value in the work that I do. Not that I need to be validated to do it, but it just, it really does, whatever. People can say like, it doesn't matter what other people think, but pff, it feels nice when people think nice things, so. <laughs> Oh, 
That is a glorious mane right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you supposed to get on the roof or in the basement? <laughs> I hope you're safe. God. Oh, our teachers get no, oh, they just, especially like I think about the ones that had to deal with me. <laughs> oh, this feels so bad. Like, that was awful. Oh, yeah, I could see like the hair become music. That would be cool. We'll see. I had to turn it so that I could paint more <laughs> to make a tail. <laughs> I really like that little flowy thing. to go back okay art is something i'm able to communicate i missed it uh, inner deepest emotions through yeah i agree that's why i went that's why i started studying art therapy yeah your book my book i don't i don't have a book i have oracle cards <laughs> Where's my water? There we go. I planned to write a book and then I got sick and went from being able to comprehend really high level academic writing to not being able to read very much at all. So, slowly it's coming back, but. freak out it's not gonna cover it I've started writing a couple books, yep. I just, um, my time has been, so if you want me to write, if, if anybody wants me to write a book, go support me on Ko-Fi so that I can 
dedicate some time to that instead of hustling to try to make my rent every month. There's a lot of things I want to do, but I also have things I need to, you know, sitting and writing a book doesn't make money now. And that's the unfortunate thing about creating. It's, you know, it's just how it works. Yeah, I, I own the reverse coloring book, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Do I have to pull up a reference sometime? Yep, want to see what I'm looking at for this one? I am painting from that horse right there. That's how I am. In that face because I don't look at horses that often <laughs> so I need to I need something to look at hmm. yeah I just got my coloring book and uh, one of the first people Kendra was one of the first people I connected with here on on TikTok and people were tagging me and her stuff and I'm like oh my god yeah we see things very similarly so when I so I have a, a business called the artsy apothecary and I plan on I'd like to be able to have her book in it when I have a physical space for it. But I'll probably come on live and do some coloring so y'all can see it. It's really cool. All right, what's going on? Why are y'all telling her to get safe? And extreme alert. Oh, shit. Oh, please be safe. Check in if you can, gosh. Ugh. Alright. Alright, so here we go. What's next? 
Yeah, Wicked Witch is in New York City, and there's a tornado and flash flooding at the same time. What is that? Hurricane. Oh. So I'm seeing like a pink tiger right here. Here's the nose and the mouth and the eye. Where's the dragon? Yeah, it's Hurricane Ida, I think. I also see a mushroom up here, too. I have to go check something, because there's like flies coming in here. I gotta see if I whip my doors open. Flying peacock. Pink dragon. You think the dragon eye is right here? That'd be kind of cool, huh? Ooh, I can see that now that you mention it because it's got like that little. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. I love dragons. Maybe a tiger. Yeah, I don't, I don't turn these just because I read it at the end and I need it to be um, in the same place. I have once or twice for a reading done that, but um, I, in general, I keep it the same way because then I... So my, my subconscious knows where to put things to t so that I can get the message.
I like this, like, um, lightning strike thing going on. It's interesting. Too, huh? Dang. I don't like that nose, but I gotta find a different. figure out this these nostrils I'm, I was looking for like a lizard face I wasn't really sure what what Remind me a little bit of like a, a violin, like the, what you call it in a violin? I don't first time I saw that movie my, my my siblings are much older than me and they just obviously weren't into doing they were babysitting me a lot and they just really weren't into the things I was into obviously um and so we rented that movie and I was so excited about it and we watched it and they got sick of watching it about halfway through and um my brother turned it off and then convinced me that the um that there was a part two that we didn't get from the store. So I didn't get to finish watching it until another day. Because mm, he wanted to watch something else. A little turd.
Oh, thanks for the ice cream cone. <laughs> I don't know. They, I'm pretty sure um, some of them give me money. <laughs> Which is always welcome. I love money. Yeah, I was thinking like the how the wispy stuff that comes off. Yeah. I was thinking that too. <laughs> Wasn't his face kind of this weird peachy color too? whole sandwich or maybe she <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all the gifts. That's pretty cool. Alright, I think it kind of blends into the thing. Alright. Now. I feel like they're communicating with one another in some way. I do feel like there's a little smile here. A little grin. Okay. Still feel I still see an animal like a nose here and their snout with an eye like a tiger or something. Or a, like a, 
some sort of big cat. Or pan pink panther. <laughs> Gizmo the gremlin. Oh, I love Gizmo. I know y'all see that stuff too. I'm just gonna... I have to go with what it's showing me. <laughs> and... Fox, I love those.
Nunca no tengo. Well, I'm not stressed. I just, uh, the dog is, I think. <laughs> uh, if I walk away, I don't usually come back. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. You know, sometimes I just leave things unfinished, but. Yeah. I have a lot of unfinished work. Well, or it's finished for now kind of thing, you know. But yeah, I definitely walk away if I'm, if I'm not feeling good about it, for sure. I mean, that's my work, right? It's not, it's not about making something. It's about holding space so that something can come through. I just tend to, it, what you're feeling is the intensity of the concentration. <laughs> look like he's got a tongue sticking out. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, thank you. I I know that I'm gonna expend a lot of energy and so I on Wednesdays, so I take the majority of the day off, so I'm good. I slept a lot and Take real good care of myself in the morning. <laughs> I love these spots. They're very much like the um, scales on the dragon. It's like a that's why when I recognized that it was a leopard I was like yes <laughs> that's exactly what it is. feeling fl that's what it is hibiscus i agree 
Yeah, th it's super intense. <laughs> I love it. When I was younger, I used to paint um, cat eyes. I just, it was my favorite thing to paint. How did that just happen? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but it's fun, right? <laughs> Hi, Olivia, how are you? Yeah, these have been really intense. Thank you all for, like, hanging. <laughs> oh, were you not subscribed? Well, you'll be in for this one then, huh? <laughs> yeah, so reminder, anybody who wants to enter to win, I'm, I'll be giving away this original. And... It's a dollar to become a member. You can go to the link in my bio and just sign up there. It's super simple. There. I love the cheekbones. I don't know what it is, but I love that. <laughs> I'm really enjoying painting this kitty. Nice kitty. Yeah, you can choose how much you want to pay. So the minimum is a dollar. But I did do the giveaway for the mermaids. Um, so the winner of the mermaids is Anita. And then the winner for the wolf with the what did, uh, Wicked Witch call that Willie Nelson <laughs> it was Stephanie. Yeah, congrats to both of them. Do you... No, there's prints available of them. So you can get a print, um, but the originals I give away. So there's prints on the site now for those. And then these I'll scan and... I've, I'm, it's the end of the month, so it takes me a little while to get the um, I'm trying to talk and do things at the same time. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. 
You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Hibiscus, hibiscus. I need to see what that looks like because I feel like that's what's coming next. Oh, wow. Perfect. God, look at that. Okay, so look. I'm going to... Mermaids of the Underworld for sure. All right. I'm going to show you. I'm going to look at this one right here. We'll see if it'll come up. Okay. So look right here. All right. <laughs> oh, that one. That, that goes there. Yeah, don't you think? I think so. All right. I'm going to put that there. Impossible for the brain to multitask. Oh God, yeah, yeah. When I'm when I'm doing my weekly, like from because I'm self-employed, so I have to do all my book work and crap, you know. And when I'm doing that stuff, like I cannot. Mm -mm. Don't call me. <laughs> Don't call me on Saturdays because I. It's not. I'm not very nice. Because my brain's in, like, linear mode, and I cannot. Mm -mm. Nope. All right. So, this right here. That looks like a statement to me. So, I know that that thing over here looked like a male organ, but here's an actual male organ over on this side. And it's funny because I do a lot of like therapeutic art stuff and I think I said this before, but there always ends up looking like some sort of genitalia, something. Art always reflects that. <laughs> I had a friend who was constantly painting dicks. Every painting he did. And he would always say, well, you know, paint what you like. <laughs> yeah don't even breathe near me right so you just started selling your artist prints nice congratulations um so i use i i i just so like a two yes last year maybe two years ago i invested in a website through art storefronts which is um, it's got like a print on demand service, right? And so I use their use their print on demand service, which is the um, company that does the printing is uh, graphic dimensions. I don't really I don't it's not a big part of my business, so um, I don't really have a huge opinion about it, but starting out, I think I've done some of those smaller printers. I used to print, um, it was really important to me to print with my local printer when I had one that I really liked, but now I moved away from them, so I don't really care anymore. <laughs> um, but I think if I were just starting out, I would probably do like one of those like red bubble or one of those things for a little bit um till i established but the pro only prop the downside with those are that um you can't connect you don't know who's buying from you and so you never establish a relationship with anyone so you have to work extra hard on developing a relationship with your collectors outside of that so um yeah, so when I started out selling my art, I didn't even, I didn't do prints for a long time. I only sold my originals. Um, it was just much easier. But I was cranking out several paintings a day, so, yeah. Back in those days, on the e my eBay days. <laughs> 
I also didn't know what I was doing and I sold my first painting for 25 cents. So I don't know if you want to take my advice. <laughs> mm. I feel like that's a different flower over here. Yeah. MySpace. No, I'm too old to even remember MySpace. <laughs> I was like, I learned how to do like HTML. There was no Google or anything. This, we're talking um, 2001. So my son was born in 2001. And I wanted to stay home with him. And that's... How I did it as a single mom. I want to be able to stay home. And I was lucky enough. And it was so cool because I was selling stuff to, at that time, it was, it was a really big deal that, you know, people from another country bought from you. Like it really, like, it just didn't happen, you know? <laughs> now it's like, whatever, <laughs> we're all so connected. I think we take that for granted. Yeah, I never really sold prints, like many prints, until just recently. Um, I just never saw the, like this, I I make so little from it. I mean, it's like pennies. So I just don't really spend a lot of time with it. But it's a nice thing to have. I know we do. We take a lot for granted, don't we? I know. Thanks for the likes. I appreciate that.
I know I love that purple over here, right? Did you do the good? I'm glad that you sold more prints. Yeah, that's when I that's when I went to prints. Well, I do custom work, and that's really the bulk of my. Well, I don't. I don't. I'm not a traditional artist. Like I don't sell the same way that traditional artists do. <laughs> so I don't really fit um, some of those. But yeah, I saw a an up. Well, I, I saw an uptick in people booking sessions with me. Definitely during lockdown. I was also working for a psychic hotline at the time, which was super weird. And you would think that people were would ask me about lockdown and stuff, but all they wanted to know about was relationships. And it just got old and I really didn't like it, so I quit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure why the... Maybe because it's so quiet, it's not, like, super, like, in your face, like, da-da-da-da-da, you know? <laughs> I'm just not... I don't really... I don't really fit on TikTok, which is funny because I, cause I don't... I don't follow any of the trends. <laughs> I don't do what you're supposed to do here. But whatever. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing up here? Fox or mushroom what's this little hmm 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 little sparkles coming out of this The lady with the long purple hair, tree of life, mushroom, cartoon ghost wearing lipstick. Ah, I love that. <laughs> you see the mushroom too? Right on. Flamingo. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> I got my dad a thing that he can put his phone because he was like using his tablet or his phone or something to read books and it would like drop and drop it on his head. <laughs> so I got him a thing that he can put that in to lie down with. Where's the sloth? I don't see it. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Is it this pink thing? Is this the sloth right here? Did anyone watch the show The Magicians? They had this sloth character. It's funny. I totally see it now. I am going to have to do the sloth, but I have to figure out. It is upside down, right? So it's like its eyes are... What are you doing, you weird little sloth? All right. So I can see its legs. So let's do the legs first, and we'll just we'll figure it out from there. Because I see this like leg right here pretty clearly, which means the other leg is probably back in here somewhere. Like that. All right. So we got that. Do, 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 do. And then, 
I'm gonna cut its fuzzy little butt so that it's like that. Very mm -hmm. little fuzzy friend. arms hanging down maybe that's why but there's an arm over here it's like that and then it's face Isn't the magician so good? I, I loved that show so much that when it ended, I started it over again. And I never, ever, ever rewatch anything. So that's how good it was. <laughs> like, I'm way too. I bore too easily. But my favorite episode was when they did um, Under Pressure. You like touch the the cheat or the leopard's head. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why there's not more people, but I love, I really love the group that comes together for these. And it's amazing. You guys are awesome. I've always been really lucky. I know a lot of people get some crappy, have some crappy experiences um, on social media and um, especially when they, you know, when they go live and stuff like that. And I've always just been really lucky um, people are very kind to me and I appreciate that. Yeah, 
you think that that's that's part of it. You know, it's kind of an expectation, right? But yeah, either way, whatever it is, I'm glad. <laughs> I don't have to deal with too many assholes, and it's great. And kind of, kind of, and uh, you know, even more so, the people that do show up are just you guys are awesome, insightful, and interesting, and. You point out sloths for me to paint. Better than that, a little sloth butt. <laughs> oh my god, I love this little sloth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the, I love the arm like we. <laughs> I totally want a pink, pink sloth now too, yes. These red look like trees or something in the distance. Kind of cool. So I was like, how's it hanging? Yeah. <laughs> a fast animal and a slow animal. Oh, yeah, look at that. And they're kind of, it's like reaching down and touching them on the head or something. Right? Kind of feel like a mountain here. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It does feel safe and yeah. I think there's something about this color.
Oh, goodbye, go. Sorry. <laughs> I love the pinks and purples in there. I think it's like um, family tree kind of feeling. <laughs> Yeah, kindred spirits for sure. I love this one too. <laughs> uh huh. What is that? <laughs> Didn't I just say that? Um, hold on one second, because dang it.
didn't miss anything. I'm still working on it. Might do a third. I don't know. That's what the cat's looking at, huh? It's interesting how everything else had to be painted before it could be sewn, but I'm pretty sure someone said they saw a butterfly early on. So it's like our change had to all the other thing we had to acknowledge all the other stuff first. Wow, okay. Damn. It does look like it's gonna land on its nose, yeah. All right, so here's the close-up. Oh, the unicorn's crying or something, I don't know. But it's emotional. It's like the, it's like that um, happy tear kind of face. Like, oh, I just love you all so much. <laughs> the kind, the fast, the slow, the mystical. Oh, that's beautiful. God, it's re really looking right at the... <laughs> mm. And I love this arm, how the arm is like... <laughs> like, ta-da! I feel like the sloth is saying ta-da. <laughs> light coming through and the hibiscus um i feel like there's a connection between this hibiscus and this cup over here see the like the crack there's something about it like yeah that's where the light gets in right <laughs> why don't you sneak in mad mink how you doing all right so There's still a line between the left and right side that's very distinct. Um, this also, that just looks like a cube, like an ice cube or something. So if we draw a line right down the middle, that butterfly is sitting right in the center between the internal and the external experience. So if we look at, oh, <laughs> if we look at the left side, we've got the dragon and that blends into this leopard um, there's a uniqueness in the spots that's what I think of as like leopard print uniqueness but also and I want to say too like right off the bat all this pink is very unusual like 
people don't usually pick a ton of pink stuff. So this very pink and, and what's interesting, so check this out. The only pink that was in here was this pink flowing into that door. So it's almost like we went through that door and look what's inside. Holy crap, you know? Um, so the internal experience is kind of this whole, it almost feels like, like stacked like a totem or like, like, um, like a hierarchy too. So it's like accessing these powerful, that kind of powerful blend of unique through the kind of easy going to hang in there. <laughs> I like that hang in there kind of thing, right? And then the external is like the unicorn looking back on the internal. I feel like that's also connected to this where we were talking about a recognition of the higher self. I think this is more a recognition once we get into the external of recognizing other kindred souls that, like, you freaking fly. <laughs> get, get out of my paint, you weirdo. You're going to get stuck in there. You can have a longer life if you leave the room. Okay, so the, um, sorry. <laughs> I talk to the bugs in my house, by the way. So, um, yeah, the unicorn on the other side, it's like our unique, but also that free spirit, right? Look at that hair, that glorious mane, <laughs> and how it blends. And then also the hibiscus, hibiscus fade, that beauty fades, but it's part of the, um, it's part of the, the, the whole hibiscus bush, right? So, it's you're not just one flower right so your your expression comes and goes and comes and goes but you're always you know you're eternal in the sense that you're the plant um so these kinds of things happening there right in the middle of it the blending together of all of these different aspects of self with this white butterfly which is like the white of this look at this fucker look at that where'd it go what are you doing okay so <laughs> they're so bold I don't like I don't know if it's because I have lighting in here or what <laughs> or they just know I'm busy and I'm not gonna shoo them catch them all right <laughs> they're trying to tell me I gotta look up all right fine let me look up what Avia says about the flutter fly I know I've looked this up before <clears throat> I have a, a preferred website. It's the address is what's your sign.com. It's all hyphenated. Um, I just love it because it's so comprehensive. Like they put together all these different things. Um, so let's see what you're trying to say. I'm just going to scan it until something jumps out. Hmm. <laughs> Look at your emotional poop. That just jumps out. Expand your vision. See the world with multi-dimensional sight the way that the fly does. So this definitely is multi-dimensional. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, so that multi-dimensional vision. Petty irritations we might be withholding. And that's what I was talking about with this one was letting out a bunch of anything that is bothering us. We need to express it and let it out. What's bugging me, you know? Um, and then we can move through into this experience of, you know, moving when we need to move, resting when we need to rest, being playful, being fully in the heart. This this pink just feels like, and this also is kind of like a crystal here, um, like some quartz that feels connected to the heart also. Um, yeah, overwhelmed with emotion and joy and that kind of, um, the dragon, um, it's like that rescuer feeling again too, like the that carry us away kind of thing, that fun and fantasy, fantasy reality, yes. Very nice. And then of course it's anything that you that you see in it too. So top and bottom, what's happening on the top is what we're aware of and what's happening on the bottom of what we're not quite aware of yet. So 
we're aware so it's interesting that there's like realistic animals on the top and then the fantasy animals on the bottom so i think we can go a little bit more into our imagination and let that kind of you know kind of play be playful and you know use that sloth playfulness too to kind of imagine what we want into being right yeah oh i love this one Kitty, kitty. Mm. <laughs> I feel like there's a little possum in the tree, but this one's done. <laughs> So just a reminder, if you want to be entered to win one of these, go over and enter and become a member. Let's do one more. Look at that. God, look at that, how the, um, the pink, can you see how the pink flows from the cup into the door and then woof. All right, one more. Where is it? Where'd you guys put my other piece of paper? <laughs> I'm gonna arrange the, the colors. And while I'm doing that, if you have any questions or, um, you know, if you wanna book a session, you can do that. It's discounted while I'm live, and if you want to uh, become a member to be entered to win, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Is there an elephant in the green one? There is. There's the elephant. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 12. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, so I'll I so what I do is um, so there's a link in my bio and you can see all the prints from previous weeks and stuff like that. So you can sit and look at them close up after I scan them and match the colors. It takes me a little while, but these should be on the site within a few days. I'm I, that's what I was saying before is I'm working on the <clears throat> the end of the month, getting August ready. That's the other thing too. If anybody wants a signed limited edition of the calendar. That's a new thing. There's only three spots available, um, but you can you can get on there. You become a member. It also when you join that, you also get entered into the drawing too. So it's kind of nice. All right. Oof! Did we do um? Did we do a blind pick last time? I don't think so. I feel like I picked from the color. So this time, I've been sitting for a long time. Let me stand up. Hi, Lulu. I wish I could show you guys the. excited because I get up. So here's today's hmm is October your month? <laughs> What's up? Hmm? Come here. <laughs> That's my dog. <clears throat> Hey, baby. 
She's amazing. I wish I could find, I, I don't know what I did with it, but I painted her before she came into my life. It was really wild. It's the same style, but on canvas. And <laughs> I was like, I have it in my, um, like if you go way back in my TikToks videos, but um, I did a, a painting and it looked like there was a, it was like a box and I'm like, oh, a gift. What's my gift? What am I gonna receive from the universe? And then it turned into a dog, and I was like, oh, hell no, I don't need a dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, no, thank you, universe. Like, don't send me a dog. I don't need a dog. They're expensive, and I'm a single mom, and I'm broke, and la, 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 like all these reasons, right? <laughs> and then I actually stopped painting the painting. I've never finished the painting. Um, and <laughs> because I didn't want a dog. <laughs> A couple weeks later, my neighbor was like, hey, these people just moved in behind the apartment complex. Do you, they can't ha keep their dog? And I'm like, no, I don't want a dog. And I forgot about the painting, of course, too. I'm like, no, I can't. No, I can't. And she's like, just come with me and look at it. I'm like, sure. <laughs> and then I saw her and then they told me her name was Lulu. And, like, my friends when I was growing up used to call me Linda Lou. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, she's totally meant to be my dog. And she followed me home. <laughs> so, yep, that's the story of the dog. Lulu, aren't you my dog? Hmm, you found me. I did. And I thank her all the time. And I'm so glad that I have her now because my son's been traveling a lot and not home. And... So I, it's very lonely, you know? I like being alone, but um, it can be kind of lonely. So I have this dog. Okay, you, you gotta get down now. Let me paint. Okay. Hold on, I can't get you won't get off my lap. Okay, good girl. Alrighty, she was mine all along for sure, yeah. I think my, look at this fucking fly, look at this shit. This one, what are you doing? Get, go, get, get. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just, I'm like, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> like Snow White in that, in uh, Enchanted, was that it, the live action one? <laughs> Where she calls all the rats and flies to help her clean the house. <laughs> That's the best, that is the best. <laughs> I found it. There it is. You know, the, the fly wants to hang. It's it's sitting on my table. I don't. I think it's because I have these ginormous lights in here, and it just thinks it's like daylight. I don't know. Hi. Okay. Let me just get centered. All right, so I'm going to invite you all to pick a color, pick a number, 1 through 36. And that will be the we'll add those colors to the painting. Thank you. All right, 24, 12, 6. Six, twelve, twenty-four. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, you don't want one? What do you want? <laughs> do you want to change it? You can. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Hey, 
Jay, and you're just in time. You want to pick a color? Pick a number 1 through 36. <laughs> Welcome. Eleven. All right. Do you know that you were like the eleventh person to to join? So nice. Um, when I so how many paint colors do I usually use? I with these little ones. Um, I usually. It depends on how many people are here. It doesn't really matter. When I do readings for people, I tell them that they can pick as many or as few, and that's a nine by 12, so. I've had people say, use the whole box. <laughs> There's 36, so I've used that. I've had um, 96, uh, they weren't different colors, but I had 96 people choose colors one time. I didn't see you, but I got you now, the 19. Okay, I'm just watching to see if anybody's speak now, or that's it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't. 13. Yeah, when I was, when I, I was doing some, like, on Facebook, in my Facebook group, I just said, you know, name, you know, name your, pick your color or whatever, and I left the post open for a while, and then I wrote them all down, and you can see it, it's the one with the unicorn, um, and I just went through and put 96 different little blops. <laughs> all right, 10, gotcha, Sarah. Sarah with an H, that's cute. <laughs> Nice. All right. Oh, were you going to say 13? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Wicked Witch had you covered. Hey, thanks for the flowers. So, just a reminder before I get started, because I'll forget, and I, I should, I should, you know, promote the things that allow me to keep doing this. Um, <laughs> If you want to enter to win, go become a member. There's a link in my bio. And if you want to book a session with me, a private session where you get to pick as many colors as you want, and I paint what I see, and I tell you what it means, and we figure out your life path and all that good stuff, um, those are 33% off right now. You can get to that. Through my site, why does it look very blue? I think my eyes are starting to go. <laughs> Alrighty, I don't remember the order, so I'm just going to grab, I think, and we're just going to close this one to me. Ooh, Sarah, are you a writer? Yeah, the green one does it does remind me of Peter Pan. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was 13. <laughs> oh, look at the little bird. Huh. You see that looks like a little bird to me. Yeah, that's why I was asking Sarah if, if they were a writer because it felt like I was doing like calligraphy or something. Oh, interesting. Okay, what's the deal with the yellow? I felt like I just wanted to like dump the whole thing on there. Add yellow. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's funny. other one almost exactly the same 
It looks like a, a honey badger. Okay then. That's it. All right, let's see. Look in that pink, I know. All right, I should probably move these. I feel like this is gonna get a little bit messy. <laughs> They all have a tutor. Yep. <laughs> There's a business. Oh, you probably have heard of it. Um, it's called Tutor Time. And every time I see the sign for it, it just because I'm because I have the humor of like a nine year old. Um, it's funny. It is funny. Tutor Time is a funny name for a business. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going off. Oh, and Taco Bell, right? This one's really good, actually. Oh, this is cool. I just want to kind of take a second to look at that because it's going to change very much. <laughs> and it just looks like a path into the woods. It's really cool. Okay. Going off good. I like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, this is going to change. So, you can, I have, you can leave these to dry like that, and they are very cool to paint on, too, but I don't think any of us want to sit here and watch it dry. But maybe I'll come on and paint some that I've left, because I, I leave them sometimes to dry. Oh, and the other thing I, I wanted to mention was that every Thursday night, I do an art support group. So if you want to come and make art with me on Zoom, you can sign up for that through the links in my bio too. Um, it's just, they're really simple things. They're fun. And I, honestly, I don't know what we do until I show up usually, or, or like an hour before. And, um, I usually have some idea, but I go, I, I kind of tune into the energy of the group and then figure out what people need. Ooh, look at that. I still am feeling the landscape kind of thing going on. I need one more. Yeah. I feel like, Allison, like your, some, some of your paintings have, like the heads are the shape here. I feel like it's one of the people coming through, um, like over the horizon there. But yeah, definitely a horizon line. Look at that. And the path. Was the path pink? I'm going to have to go back and look at it. I feel like it was green or something. Yeah. Ooh, hot air balloon. <gasps> Yay! I think you're right. <laughs> I got really excited by that. <laughs> All right, let me just curl the, let me curl the edges back up. So I can paint on this. It's very saturated. <laughs> this is why I don't get my nails done. Mm, Eiffel Tower and there, look at, oh yeah, look at that. Huh, neat. Looking in the negative space, that's pretty cool. So when I learned about the Rorschach, the inkblot test thing, my professor was like showing us and this is the inkblot thing, da, 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 and, and she held up a thing and she goes, hey, okay, so look at this picture and what do you see? And I went, um, oh, I see a little white owl right there in the, in the white space and she went oh, the white space and I was like uh she, yeah and she goes well when you see things in the white space that means you have repressed anger which first of all like you don't tell people what they feel but second of all 
I was like looking at her and I was, and I said, well, I didn't a minute ago. <laughs> oh, teachers, love them. Love teachers. Love our education system. Thank you. Anyway, um, let's see. How, you, did you really just make an air balloon nice? We are. Isn't it crazy? I love it. Parrot and a bird. I was feeling burnt branches for sure. Yes. Definitely feeling branches. And I grabbed this one. This is that 13. I really feel like this is a strong number. Um, and that's this color right here. But I think it's not going to come into play for a minute. <clears throat> Something. What is. Okay. So, so like the horizon just shifted because then I'm like, well, maybe this is the sun and the hot air balloon is like already rising up. I thought the hot air balloon was like sitting on the horizon here, but what is that? But maybe that's not the sun. That's like a little fire. Hmm. I don't know. So what I always say is to paint what you know for sure, right? So what I know for sure is that's a hot air balloon and I'm gonna paint it. So here we go. So I'm gonna take a little dark purple. And a crap, why do I have this crappy paintbrush? Okay. Why do I even hold on to crappy paintbrushes? Can someone tell me? It's like the pens that don't work, but I never throw them out. Why do I do that? Has anyone been in a hot air balloon? Didn't someone say they were going on a hot air balloon ride before? I feel like... I don't like that the basket's lining up with the horizon line. It needs to be... That's the... That, see? I, I can tell when, like... Like... Um, teachers got in my head about whether or not things can like design, so, you know, I had to go to, well, I didn't take a art, well, I took art classes, like, in grade school and stuff, but um, then in college, it's like, here's what good design is, and now my freaking brain has to think composition, and then I just go, like, nope, brush it away. I love that other hot air balloon, yeah. Attachment is true, yes. Pink taking us in that. I think that pink is definitely moving into another dimension. And I associate the pink with the heart, with the transitional heart, the healing heart. So that makes definitely. Yeah, I don't think I would. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't go skydiving. I had to watch my son go skydiving, and it was horrifying. Um and I don't, yeah, that's not something I've ever desired to do, but hot air balloon I might be able to handle, um, just because it's like low velocity, <laughs> which is funny because I used to um, ride motocross, and I loved it, but I also have, I, I like to be in control of things, so that's probably why. Like, I don't know. I feel like I could, if I'm in an air, like a, a balloon, I could, like, save myself if things go wrong. Yeah? Parasailing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to go look up hot air ballooning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that color now. What is that? What color was that? 19? Did somebody pick 19 again? I don't... Hmm. Maybe 
What's that pink? Was that pink 16? Or three? It's going to be a no from me in that area. Um, I think they're taking a break from hot air balloon in to like camp. I think that's what this is. Logs. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, the music just shifted, didn't it? It's nice. air balloon and set up camp for the night, right? It did look like a bear, yeah. That fly just came and landed on my hand.
Yep, hot air balloon. <laughs> Do other people have what? I'm confused. <laughs> It's waiting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. See the bear. Hmm. Is it like I don't think I do. See in the distance, middle right edge, standing on a cliff. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> If I keep staring at it, I'll get confused and then...
do. I had a feeling this one was going to be much quicker. you're back how's the weather you're doing better I hope Oh, that's good, yeah. You're high and dry. <laughs> this is gonna look weird for a second. Just, you know. balloon should we do? Should we alternate colors or what do you think? Solid color. I was going to make it just red and then you now I'm wondering what y'all think. the cake. Red with gold piping, some yellow. <laughs> Rainbow. Or red, yellow, and blue. Red and... Um, Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do red, and if I if I like it, I'll leave it. If I don't, I'll add different colors. How's that sound?
that as it builds up. Okay, done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> mm, totally unintentional. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I do have to do one more thing. I, I was going to put the fly in there. Maybe I should. Yeah, I probably should because it just buzzed in my head just as I read that. So. No way. There's a fly that's like. I'm trying to get my attention like a two year old. It's weird.
course there's fireflies in the little Now I'm done. Now I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Moths, huh? Interesting. Okay, there we go. There's the fly. Oh, there's like a little pyramid back in there. A little frog. dimensional to anybody else? What the frick? That's so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I might just be a little overtired. Woo! All right. Really nice. I love when that happens. All right, so let's look at uh, the horizon line is right in between what we know and what we're coming into awareness of and i feel like we're i think connecting with the earth is something that's coming up definitely up here in the sky i think we've been existing in our in our higher octaves in our <laughs> in that in our um our heads you know and we're going to connect more with our with our physical with our material body a little bit listen to that fly express ourselves that's what's on the horizon right that that um, throat energy that blue right in the middle what's happening internally is the campsite and what's happening externally is the path leading to the horizon again this a similar message as the other one too and that pink path really that transitional heart that healing heart healing our heart by expressing what's going on, our, that passionate um, red, pass, kind of hop in and take off with the red. Hi. That's okay, nifty me. I'm just about to read the, I'll, look at all three of them together. I'm getting a little tired, so I won't, I don't know that I'll have that many words. <laughs> um, but we'll see what comes out. All right, let's see. We're just going to recap all three of them. Back it up. This one's like a photograph compared to the other ones. It's really interesting. I feel like it's, it's really dynamic and it was so much quicker, isn't it? <laughs> all right, so let's start. Here. I love looking at like the last one compared to the first one. So the first one, I feel like they're looking at this little turtle. If you can't tell, that's a little turtle. <laughs> um, kind of waving in recognition of self. There's little places to kind of hide under the waterfalls. Lots of falling stuff. Lot of the cross to bear kind of thing. And then they, yeah, they went on a date. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I think you're right. Aww. So it's, it was like that kind of like, let me show you the world. Let me show you there's so much more to life for you than all this stuff that you have internally like welled up, like all this emotional stuff. You have this transformational energy, this pink energy that's going into this door. 
So let's go check out what's behind door number one, which is the multidimensional self. So that pink flowed right into this one. Yeah. Look at the magic that's within. Look at how magical. So the first thing we saw was, thank you, Wicked Witch, so was the unicorn, right? And this unicorn just looks overwhelmed with emotion. Like, you ever, sometimes when I go into the woods and I haven't been there for a really long time, it feels like I'm being welcomed home and there's like this, it's not sadness, but it's just like this, um, it's this emotion that kind of is like sadness, but it's also wonderful. I don't really know how to explain but that's kind of what I feel like a coming home, like, oh, finally, or, oh, why did I wait so long? You know, that kind of feeling. But um, <coughs> then there's the dragon down here. What is the purpose of, on a stringed instrument, like a um, violin for those holes? Is it to let the, so that it resonates and lets the sound out, or... I wonder, because that's what it kind of reminds me of here. And the two eyes are very interesting, the two different colors. Yeah. It's like parentheses, right? It's kind of like a pause. <laughs> wonder. That's what this one's saying to me is like wonder. And it's funny because we have this leopard and or cheetah, and it's like really fast, right? It's like, slow down and just, you know, take in the beauty and the wonder for sound flow. That makes sense. So here's our teacher of going with the flow. <laughs> Upside down little sloth. There's like that red here too. It's like on top of, it's kind of within everything. So with that red comes up again at the with the hot air balloon but it began here right at the core of this flower it's also the tree branches that started here too kind of came through in the end mm -hmm. and then look at the tree branches kind of line up a little bit Flowing into love and a peaceful resting. Even though you have the ability to fly high and get a big perspective, you also need to sometimes ground your craft, <laughs> ground your vessel a little bit, um, and rest and stoke your fire. You know, that's what it feels like. This is saying is. There's, it's, oh, look at all the elements, like we went from waterfalls and then going on this adventure and, and this one was so intense. There was the, like, but energizing, like it didn't drain me or anything. It just was like a lot of energy. And so then it was really important to, to sit and find a nice little place to enjoy the setting sun. Yeah. Yeah, the pink, um, it does, it softens the the red. So I, I think too, what came up with last week's was this red in this one. And that, yeah, when your, your ship is crumbling, you're trying to fix it, but there's no point in fixing it because it's underwater, that's gonna create a lot of anger. That's gonna create a lot of frustration. So, yeah, I feel like there's this softening by expressing those emotions, but also transitioning um, into this very kind of magical. It also feels, you know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, my trapper keeper as a kid. <laughs> you know, it's got some of these elements of childhood and, and wonder it feels like wonder, imagination, those kind of things can be so healing for that. Um, you know, what can we, so when we feel frustrated, what can we imagine that's, that takes us out of that frustration? How can we be more, you know, like these, these aspects of ourself? And then, yeah, the, 
The sun will let the sun set. And then the frogs, too, is just a reminder that of prosperity and our and lucky and um, they're I think a symbol of of like homecoming too like find your way home is that little fly pans the guy that guards our Kashuk records and goes the map to Neverland nice yeah so yeah It's all going to be good. Yeah, so lots of traveling kind of, yeah, movement. And that's, too, there was the snakes in this one. Um, it's really hard to put them all uh, together in one thing, but whatever. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah. I like to zoom out and look at them together. Kind of big picture. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, thank you everyone so much for tuning in this week. And there'll be pictures on, um, so if you're not yet a member on Ko-Fi, that's how you get entered to win one of these originals. So I'll draw the names of the winners next week when I be right before I start so just a reminder today um so the winner I'm gonna put them <laughs> so these are the winners of this last week's so Anita won this one of the originals there are prints available in the shop um but the originals are given away and then this one goes to Stephanie so who will win these? And so yeah, just um, become a member. It's a dollar a month. It makes a huge difference for me if if everybody got signed up. And um, you can also like become a collector too. So if you want to collect the calendar, you can get a limited edition signed print, which I don't usually do, um, but you can get those too. So that's in the link. Other than that, have a wonderful week. Look at that red. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> Who won the dragon? Which one was the dragon? I can't remember. I can't remember who won the dragon. I'll have to go back and look. <laughs> but you can see, I usually post it on... Well, I've only done... I switched everything so that it's a membership now. So, um, But you can go... When you go to Ko-Fi, it'll show. Um... Oh, yeah. Christina, I believe. The dragons that were, like, calling the kids home. <laughs> that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go look. Um, I posted, so what I, I, I'm still figuring out how Ko-Fi works. It's kind of like a whatever, but I just, I like it better than Patreon because Patreon takes a big chunk of the money that people send, so. Um, but. Yeah, so I'm posting on there, so you'll you'll see it on there. And then, speaking of winners, I think, Teal, I think you won one of them, so if you haven't gotten my, check your email, take your spam for email from me. Um, I'm not sure if that was you or not, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, so go, if anybody has questions on, because um, you're a member, aren't you, Teal? I think you are, because um, last week, or the week before, yeah, last week, um, I gave away three, and I have, yeah, yeah, so you won, you won, let me see, let me see which one you won, because I have a couple sitting here, um, I also, if anybody's watching that signed up just under the name Ko-Fi supporter, um, can't find your information so yeah this one you got this one too that one's yours <laughs> so if you don't see your email um send me a message i just needed to get your address to send it out to you yeah good timing <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
but yeah, so these will be given away. These are so, I'm excited about these a lot. But if you want prints, they'll be available too. You'll be able to get prints and phone cases and all the good stuff. Um, yep. Oh, I'm gonna go drink some water. <laughs> and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, I'll post some pictures of these right away so you can look at them. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great night. Bye.